Hello guys, R Factor 2 has been provided a few days ago with a new build. It's the build number 1121 and I think it has to be a quite a huge update with a lot of changes concerning a lot of things. You can see it here. The user interface has been updated quite a lot and there have been added new controller profiles, especially for some new devices that has been released on the market. Also for some older racing wheels and so on. The modding support has been updated and expanded. The Graphics has been updated, multiplayer, broadcast overlays, and so on and so on. And therefore, guys, let's jump into it from here. This is complete new. For example, this welcome to R Factor 2 screen. We have to complete the startup wizard to configure the game optimally for my system. They want me to put in my names. Let's begin with this. Let's <laughs> say Raf Ralonso and the nickname. Let it be Ralonso. So let's go to the next step. And now we are already here. Apparently, we can finish the startup wizard and we can start racing let's switch the track what can we go for uh, have we got the Mugello maybe not yet let's go to Istanbul Park and now let's get to the car selection menu da -da 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 -da. let's go here with the Formula 1 2020 and let's choose the Scuderia Alpha Tauri of Pierre Gasly as the Istanbul Park Circuit 1.3 is uploading, we prepare us to have some sort of track day here with a competition against the AI. I <laughs> haven't practiced anything yet with this track and car combination, especially not on R Factor 2, but uh, it's just a try, just to have some uh, impressions of how the new build of R Factor 2 is gonna functioning. Uh, this track is a clockwise direction circuit. I don't know the length, but uh, it has some interesting sectors for sure. <laughs> so let's wait for the upload. It takes quite a long here in R Factor 2. It has always taken a long time to load the track on this sim. And here we have it. Let's drive out of the garage with the AI help. Uh, coming up to the pit lane with the limiter inserted. Now we have turned it off and we are accelerating through the first part of the Istanbul track. And as you can hear, maybe the you can hear the engine sound is a little bit strange or maybe it is like the developer wants it to be don't say that it's it's bad it's a little bit over pitched maybe anyway uh, think it's quite a nice uh, feeling already driving this car uh, and I think visually it's as well not bad at all. So yeah, coming up to this left right combination. changing the camera views I have to um, mess a around with the buttons of my wheel here because R Factor 2 is <laughs> a completely new platform for me and uh, I have so many games that I'm driving in and uh, have already to or always to change the settings when switching from one game to another uh, and the same story is uh, when I go to R Factor which I'm using only uh, occasionally in the last uh, couple of months so we're uh, 
coming up this first part of the new lap here in Istanbul Park I would love to change the information tab there on the right side of the screen the right bottom side of the screen but I don't know anymore how to do this in any case uh, I really enjoying the driving here the camera viewpoint of this um, cockpit or TCAM setup is quite nicely quite nice like it a lot and uh, the track is really um, well made as far as I know as I remember it uh, the graphics are really good my driving is not so good uh, but this is not no new um, a new discovering coming up the last corner left hander and up to the home straight away here of Istanbul of course uh, we have no setups that we have uh, that you can choose from this is the stock setup you are driving with our first steps here into this sim again and we are experiencing again <laughs> what it's meaning to be a complete novice ah come on a little bit of uh, losing the rear end of the car going sideways So I think we can forgot uh, the idea to going to race here today. Let's uh, remain at this mode here for today's video. Let's just get into it a little bit by driving around. I don't know even the button to activate the DRS and the ERS which I think both are available in this mod but uh, don't know how to activate it so we're coming up again the home straight away and you can see the gap here we are gaining towards our fastest lap so far Beginning with the new lap, the lap number three. We're trying to get better and better. Fourth gear for this left hander. Tight right hander in second. Continuing to go down the hill and approaching the next couple of corners. Two left handers. Shifting up to the seventh down to the third for this right hand bend and we are three seconds three and a half seconds up as we're coming through this combination of left handers very famous up to this shot straight away and coming so this chicane left right and we have a five second margin on our previous fastest lap time so big steps forward <laughs> for us here the moment in Istanbul but the car you can see high end speed is very low 264 kilometer per hour it's a uh, 
ridiculous to say the least. But uh, we are coming up the line again and you can see 5.5 seconds we have gained on our previous fastest lap time. As an Alfa Romeo has overtaken us. But uh, this is a weird uh, behavior of the car uh, concerning the high speed that we can reach with it. You can see it seems to be normal until the seventh gear and then In the last 8th gear, I think, you can see that we're really not gaining the real speed that this car may be achieved here in real life. Okay, now I've discovered how to change this stuff on the right hand side as we have blown up our engine let's get back into the pit and uh, let's just see if we can alternate something uh, we can lower down the fuel load down to maybe 17 laps or so then the gears don't even know if you can change them. I think they are stocked. Um, regarding the rules of the modern Formula One. A brakes. What can we uh, do here? Don't know. It's a little bit too much. But um, medium drag is okay. Front wing. Let's lower it a little bit down. And for the rest, we should try to go out once again. For some last laps of today's video. Nice experience with the Air Factor. New build. Here in Istanbul with the Alpha Tauri of Pierre Gasly. We are not competitive at all. But uh, maybe I will set it up a little bit better offline in order to come back. Oh, as uh, racing point has <laughs> spun there. A yellow flag. Quite a nice um, scenery there. And uh, yes, we will come back maybe with some better preparation concerning the setup in general. But you can already see that uh, we can achieve a higher high-end speed with this setups that we have made so far we can go up to 219 km per hour now which is not bad comparing to how we were some minutes ago but The car is quite oversteery, especially at this last corner. Coming up this first section again of the new lap and we have some issues with the steering wheel now. We have some mechanical problems and we can feel them. 
over the fast feedback the wheel is shaking quite a bit but it's uh, really a nice immersive touch that R Factor 2 is offering for this occasion you can really feel that there's something going on with the balance of the car that it's not functioning as it should ah I have expected to be uh, at this uh, four left left handers but I, I was already here so we have missed completely the chicane but let's do a final lap guys after this one here so we are locking up the tires for this left hander and then we will say goodbye for today's video I hope you have enjoyed it I think it's quite nice didn't expect to have such a fun with R Factor 2 today evening but uh, Uh, with this build I think they have made some quite nice progress in general the guys of sim uh, studios or what they are called 397 if I remember exactly so let's do this lab as a warm-up lab and then the real final lap to try to put in the best lap of today's session and then we will say goodbye for today as this is this section with these four left handers in a row you can see the tire temperatures so we're coming up this chicane, left, right, up the hill. You can see the standings here. Here you have it, the standings, we are on P20. And you can see as well that we are not having any kind of driving helps at all. So with this guys, let's head into the last lap. for today's video and let's see how we can go through it so let's face it now Final corner coming over the line with a massive improvement. And uh, this was it, guys. Let's park the car here. This is it, guys. Thank you for watching. You see us the next time.
Bye bye from Alonso. Ciao.